Researchers at UC Berkeley have announced a radical new way to make computer chips using nanotechnology. They say they can make microprocessors 10 times smaller than today's methods at one-tenth the cost. Richard Hart reports on the drive to discover a smaller chip. This animation shows a radical new way to make computer chips. Cell phones, iPods, and other electronics keep getting smaller because computing chips keep getting smaller. But that can't go on forever, not the way chips are made today. Here's how chips are made today. A powerful beam of light is projected through a photograph of the circuit, literally like a slideshow. That is etched onto the surface of a piece of silicon. That's why they call it Silicon Valley. But there's trouble in the valley because today we're nearing the limit of how small you can focus a beam of light. Now that problem appears to be overcome by researchers in this University of California lab. Even though they believed it would work, it surprised even them the first time. Uh, we believe it definitely will work, but it's, it's still very excited to see it uh, uh, for, uh, for the for first time. Liang Pan, along with David Bogie and Jian Zhang, did something quite clever. They combined nanotechnology with hard disk drive technology. Your computer writes information to disks like these using a tiny magnetic arm. The UC team modified that technique so the arm draws tiny circuits instead of data right onto silicon. The secret is nanotechnology at the tip of the arm. Nano shapes like this form the world's smallest lens, a quantum lens made of electrons. It focuses ultraviolet light into any shape you want at incredibly small sizes. The new system promises chips that are 10 times smaller than what's possible today and cost 10 times less. Pan believes it'll be ready for prime time in two to four years, just about the time current chip-making techniques hit a wall. With the next step in chips, Richard Hart, ABC7 News.